So this is Engage New York, Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 8, and this is for Wednesday. The goal of the lesson is that students will complete word problems with units of weight. And so the teaching points, and these aren't necessarily like explicit in the lesson because the lesson is just basically solving the problems with the kids and kind of talking them through. But the teaching points are that we always stop and think about what is actually happening with the object in the story. Like what is really happening concretely, and then we draw a model to represent the story. So you're going to need two bags of weight to compare, and then you're going to need two ob other objects to weigh based on like the word problems. I'm providing you with a PowerPoint of word problems. Basically, you just have to have gone through that PowerPoint of word problems and have the objects so you can weigh them and measure them. Okay? And then you want a digital scale because you're going to actually measure the objects that should match the word problem. So for example, Here's a story problem, right? Joshua has a bag of beans that weighs 34 grams. He has a bag of rice that weighs 29 grams. You need a bag of beans that weighs 34 grams, and you need a bag of rice that weighs 29 grams. Pre-made, so that as you talk through this problem and do this problem, you can literally measure them and actually check your work, okay? So that gets me to the order of the lesson. There isn't an application problem, and so you should do the fluency practice with the kids because it's a good review of the previous days. And then you go through the PowerPoint of word problems, and for every slide, you do these four things. One, you weigh the objects you're using in the problem. So if the problem is talking about the beans and rice, you weigh the beans and rice separately, just to say, okay, we've got these weights. You weigh whatever it describes in the problem. Then you talk through how to draw the model with the kids, where to put the question mark, all the things you've done in the past, you do the math, write the appropriate equation, write the answer sentence, all of that excellent model drawing. And then finally, you check your work with the scale. So if the scale has you putting those objects together, or the problem has you putting those objects together, you weigh them together. If the problem has you taking one away, you take one away, that kind of thing. And then kids do the whole problem set independently while you walk around. And of course, they draw a model and they write their answer sentence for every problem. So for this problem, I'm going to weigh my beans and weigh my rice. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to say, okay, I have my beans. I have my rice. And I want to know in the bowl, there is the amount in the bowl that I'm looking for. So I see this as an addition problem. I'm going to add, right, the beans and rice. Weigh. 63 grams, and now that we are done and we've talked about this as a class, I take my beans and rice and I put them on the scale and I check that they weigh 63 grams. And I'm going to do that for a subtraction problem, a multiplication problem, and a division problem. 